Hello, welcome to Saturday Bible Study. We're doing it fa uh, fairly early today because we're going to be gone all day. So, um, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, and uh, so we'll pray. <clears throat> wisdom and help us to uh, to get through the uh, these times Lord thank you amen so we have first uh, Corinthians chapter 4 we're going to read 1 through 7 <clears throat> let a man so account of us as, as of the ministers of Christ and stewards of the mystery of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not my own self, for I know nothing by myself, yet I am hereby justified. But he that, judge, that judges me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time, until the Lord come, who both will bring to, to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the heart. And then shall every man have praise of God, and these things, brethren, I have found in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sake, that you might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. For who makes the differ from another? And what has thou that 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 you did not receive? Now if you did receive it, why do you glory as if you have not received it? So we have uh, Paul is uh, is starting off this this chapter um, talking talking about how uh, how we we we're not uh, that there's there's gonna come a time when when we will judge when we will judge things when uh, in in the end times when when Christ will come back and but that uh, that we we can't possibly know the the hearts of uh, hearts of a man we can we can judge actions and lifestyles to some extent but to really judge, to really judge someone, whether some, whether someone's living, whether somebody is truly right or wrong, um, we, it's, it's, it's something that only God can really know everything, and we can't possibly know everything. So, but, uh, but God can see everything. He, he knows, and there will come a time where we will, we will, where, where we will judge. And then it has a, a warning that uh, we, that everything we have came from God, and we did not receive any. We don't have anything that came from any place else. It all was given to us by God, and so we shouldn't think of ourselves hot, more highly than anybody else. Think of ourselves more than anything else, and that God is the one who 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 is who is great. He's the one who has all the glory and and not us. So uh we'll go to John 14. John 14 verse 15. It uh, said in the beginning of the uh, First Corinthians chapter four that uh, above all, a servant should be found faithful. So, 
what what does faithfulness kind of look like? And John fourteen fifteen says, "If you love me, keep my commandments." A very simple way to start off is that if we love God, if we love Christ, we will do as they say. We will we will be faithful to God and faithful to Him. We're we're never going to be complete. We're always going to make those mistakes. We're always going to step. We're always going to step out of line on occasion and do things that that are not okay. Sometimes, uh, usually, it, we don't do them on purpose or we just aren't thinking, just out of reaction. But but if we if we love Him, our lives are going to be based more upon what God says than anything else, and we'll try to. We're gonna and and we're gonna look at our lives, and and evaluate our lives and make sure that every day as we grow in God, that we we grow more and more to look like Christ, and to do what God says more and more. Uh, we'll go to First John chapter one. First John chapter one verse five is where we'll start. Then this then is the message which we have declared of him, and declared unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. We have shall we have fellowship. His son, uh, his son cleanses us from all sin. So, if we say we have Christ, if we say that we're saved then we will walk in the light. And that's what our life should reflect. A faithful servant should be walking in the light. God is light. God is of the light. He, he, in him, there is no darkness. And so we should be, we should be, if we're heading down that path, heading towards God, our lives should reflect that more and more all the time. And so we should walk in the light and walk in fellowship we should have love for one another, walk in fellowship with one another. There shouldn't, we shouldn't have darkness within us, or we should be trying to work with God, and, 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 and we should be trying to work with God so that God can uh, help get that darkness that there is out of our lives. And we should be trying to look more like Christ all the time. Uh, Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and what is acceptable and, and perfect will of God. So we, our, our bodies, uh, uh, that uh, we present our bodies as a sacrifice to God. Uh, Christ gave the example. He came and gave of himself for us. And we should give of ourselves for Christ. Uh, we are not our own person anymore. Sometimes we forget that. that we, are not, we are not our own person. We are, not, um, we are responsible for our, for our actions. 
but we live for God and for Christ. It is a reasonable service. It's not something unusual that we should be do. We should that we should do to to give of our lives for God. For He gave all. He gave so much for us. So we should be willing to give to Him, because He still is going to give us so much. Uh, we can only give Him. Uh, we can only give him our service and our lives, but he's giving far more. And we should not be conformed to this world. God's word is written on people's hearts. And so sometimes people will still live and react uh, in in a way that is that has a certain amount of uh, goodness to it but through most of this world they think and worry about completely the wrong things all the time when they think of how to solve things they don't they they don't look towards the true source of the problem because we know the source of the problem we know where it all comes from and so we shouldn't look like this world. We shouldn't look and chase after the things of this world, but we should be transformed um, by the fact that we have the Holy Spirit in us, transformed, and we should be trans we should be looking more like God and like Christ all the time as we uh, change from the inside out. So our heart first changes, then the actions then follow. So then we can know what is good and acceptable what is what the we read the bible so that we can know the perfect will of god we talk to him pray to him so we can so we can know his will better we'll go to psalm 8 Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth! Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength, because still still the enemy and the avenger when i consider thy heavens and the works of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou has ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visits him for thou has made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor Thou made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, and the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. God is great. He has done so much we can see everything around him everything around us from the farthest star to the tiniest little uh, molecule and things under the microscope as far as we can go down everything is perfect and great it's not perfect anymore but that's that's our fault but everything is great everything has so much to it that it is just god is great with everything that he does and uh, who are we that we should think that ourselves be so, we should lift ourselves up and think ourselves so great? Um, it's, it's God who is, who, is, who is great. God who should be lifted up. It, mankind, on the other hand, we're, we're just struggling from one day to another. Even, even here, we're, we're working with God and struggling to look more like him. But but God is the one who does the work. God is the one who guides us. God is the one who gives us the abilities. 
he is the he has given he has given us to to he has given these things of the earth for us to use and for us to 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 manage and 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 everything and of course it also alludes to Christ but it uh, he gives us all of these things for us to utilize but he doesn't want us to abuse them either he doesn't give it to us for us to to uh, to abuse them but to be good stewards of the earth uh, but God is the one who gets the glory not us but who is man what are what are we we are but dust really we came from dust and we'll go back to dust someday so Romans chapter 12 this time we're going to go to verse 3 So Romans 12, 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man that met uh, the measure of faith. So God has dealt with us. Uh, God has given us uh, has given us a great gift and uh, he has he has given us a, a great gift of giving us the uh, has given us uh, his son he has also led us leads us with his word and leads us with with everything and so we should be we should be calm we should be level-headed um, and we should think we shouldn't think of our but uh, the things we do uh, we can only do because of God and because of him we can't do them in our own strength so it's him that should have the glory and not us we'll go to first chronicles chapter 29 First Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 10. First Chronicles 29, 10. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation, and David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted above all. Both rich, riches and honor come of thee, and thou reigns over all, and thy hand is power and, and in thy hand is power and might. In thy hand is it it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. But who am I and what is my people? And uh, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort. For all things come of thee and, and of thine own. All our fathers, our days on earth are as a shadow, and there is nothing abiding. O Lord, our God, this is uh, no, all, all this store that we have prepared to build the uh, and house for thy holy name. Come uh, of thy hand 
and is all thine own. So it's David recognizing, uh, David recognizing that uh, everything that Israel did, everything that we give, anything that we give is not ours. It all, it all is from God in the first place. It's all his. It all came from him. all and he gives us this things and so when we give back to him we're just giving him back to him something that is already his in the first place but he's given it to us to use for him he's given it to us to use for his glory and for and for what we need uh, everything everything comes from him there he he has he has the he doesn't need anything from us but desires to have us work for him and to do his work, uh, and to do his work, and he should get all the glory. Uh, Proverbs chapter 2. Proverbs 2, chap chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if you will receive my words and hide my commandment with thee, so that, so that you incline your ear unto wisdom and apply your heart to understanding, yea, if if you cry after knowledge and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her God, for the Lord gives wisdom, and out of his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. So, our wisdom comes from God. We need to read his word. We need to run and chase after and strive after his wisdom and his knowledge. We need to gain knowledge from him and then apply it to our lives as true wisdom. As true wisdom is applied knowledge. It's just, it's when we take knowledge and we, and we use it as God would intend, then that's true wisdom. Uh, when we can do that and uh, so we need to we need to open our ears and our eyes uh, to God open open ourselves up to what God would have and by praying to him reading his word after after God's wisdom like that we should chase after it uh, like anybody um, like it, more than anything else so that because that's what's truly important 200 years from now we will have been dead long more far more than we will have ever been alive and eternity is you know forever so this is just a puff a little a little part it seems so important now because we're in the middle of it but in the end what we do is important here but uh, the after is going to be forever so uh, James 1 James 1 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom is no veritableness, neither shadow of turning. So every good gift comes from God. Every good gift comes from God. 
and there is no change, no shadow of turning. There is, there is, uh, God is light. He has the, uh, he is the maker of light. He is the, he's the maker of all goodness, all greatness, all, all righteousness. He is the one who it all comes from and it all, and we just reflect his, uh, his righteousness and his goodness. That's all we do. And there is no, there is no change. There is, God does not change. He does not, um, he, he does not. First Peter chapter four, verse eight. And above all things, have fervent love among yourselves, for love shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging, as every man received the gift even so, minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as of the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God, which God gives, that God in all things may be glorified through Christ, through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So we should remember to have a love for one another, that we should do things for one another, help one another, uh, love, love one another and give uh, and, and, and always be there for one another, that we shouldn't do it grudgingly. Uh, it's, it's not worth anything. If we give grudgingly, it's not really worth anything to God. It's only worth if we give freely, give with a with a with a giving grateful heart for what we have, and give willingly. Um, so we have to remember to 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 be there and to help one another, but but to do it with a right heart, and then remember that, and then it also is reminding us that uh, God has given to us freely he has given it to us freely so we need to turn around and give it to others to give uh, of ourselves and and whatever we can to others and that the main focus of our thoughts our lives our speech the things we should be giving glory to god and should be talking of him and his word and his and his greatness really above any other subject because he he's the one who deserves the 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 glory he's the one who deserves it above all and he should be our most important thing in our lives it's too easy to get caught up on all different subjects throughout the day and at the end of the day you've hardly thought about god at all but he should be like the first and foremost thought on our minds all the time so we uh so I hope everybody had a good day, and uh, everybody just keep um, keep keep striving, keep 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 working, working for God, and striving for Him, and be there for one another, and help each other to stand in these times. Look towards Him. Don't look towards the world and the world's things, but but look towards Him, and remember that He is the source of all things. So have a good day, and God bless. Take care. See you next time.